Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a special treat for all of you. Last week I awarded Ass Elbow for the Frauditor Moron of the Week award. But he can't just keep it, so there's going to be a little competition today. I'm going to put him up against Katie Kidman. The rules go like this. For anything that she says that's moronic, she gets one point. Ten points are awarded if they call somebody tyrannous or fascist or anything of the sort, even if it's a person, agency, or place. And they get 10 points per count. So if they do it twice in one sentence, then they get 20 points. And so on and so forth. So without further ado, let's sit down, relax, and enjoy this showdown. Hey, good morning. It's uh, Friday. Friday, Friday. Happy Friday. Don't go to jail today, Betty. At the school board. Well, if you get trespassed from another school, you're gonna end up there again. And I'm gonna continue auditing these schools. Notice to all other auditors and all the general public out there that doesn't understand it. The perverts that want to take pictures of your kids or do something with them would not be standing out here with a camera letting the whole world identify them, okay? Every grandma on the planet, every parent that cares about kids should be out here checking out the schools. Why are these landscaper guys always out here? Oh, because they're employed with the school and their job is to keep up with the grounds of the school. They're called groundskeepers, you moron. They're supposed to be there. Right on the lawn in the school. If anything, Betty was going to be doing anything at all, it would be somebody like that that's allowed on the premises to go out there on business like he is and go in there and mow the lawn. And they're always over there. Every single time I come out here, you got to keep out of here. It says danger. Keep out. But there's no sign over here anywhere saying that you can't come in here. Nothing. Okay? So, here's a basketball court. Looks pretty beat up. Here's all the buses over here. We need to expose and put some transparency on the schools, okay? You're allowed to come over here and jog, and school is in session. It's right up there. And these guys are here all day long on these lawn mowers, out here with the kids. And they're allowed, and I got arrested. So here's just another example of where you're going wrong. Why is this guy out here with a leaf or a weed whacker trimming the side of the thing? Why didn't they do this before school uh, came into session this morning? Why not? Why are these guys allowed to come out here when there's kids present? And I'm not. They shouldn't be out here. Morning. Morning. Do you work here? I'm volunteering here. Volunteering? Oh, so me. <laughs> How are you? Good. Trying to stay out of jail. <laughs> um, do you know why these guys are out here, these landscapers are out here during school hours? They're here before. But they do it every Friday, they mow the grass. But these kids are here already. Oh, they're not here. But they're already... I, have, I will be here for the first period. Okay, well I was before. at a school yesterday and the day before and the kids were all in the school playing in the yard and they were doing this inside. I don't know what that schedule is. I mean, you can always ask facilities. 
apartment, which is right there. I have no idea. Where is it at? Uh, right over there? The oh, okay. There's a public entrance. Right over there? Oh, okay. Yeah, there are two over there. I just wondered because uh, I was at a, the office of the school over here, um, yeah, and they, they want to arrest you. And I'm a grandma. I want to be a I want to be a uh, a kindergarten teacher because I love my kindergarten teacher. Yeah. So I'm going around to the schools wondering if I could be a kindergarten teacher. Well, to be a teacher, you have to uh, finish a teaching credential. I don't know how it is in California as far as acquiring a teaching certificate, but I do know here in the state of Florida, you need a bare minimum of a bachelor's degree, and you need specific courses. It doesn't matter how you get them. You can get them through a uh, college or a separate entity like Texas Teachers of Tomorrow, which is what I did to get my uh, teaching certificate squared away. Then you've got to go through background checks. There's a whole list of procedures that you've got to abide to to even get one. But I don't think Miss Betty Buttcrack will be able to get hers. I don't know what her education level is, but I do know with all those arrest records, there's a possibility that you might never get one. Yeah, I could do that. I'm very educated. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I don't have a problem with that, but um, they arrested me, so I kind of changed my mind. They arrested you? Yeah. For trespassing or what? No, they can't figure out what the charge is yet. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. But actually, they can't trespass you until oh. until you're on the property and they tell you to leave and trespass you and you go back. Oh, you know do. what I mean? I do. Yeah, that's the only way. But thank you so much for volunteering. Oh, you're welcome. God bless you, sir. You do. Thank you. There's that. There's this. Here's a bunch of signs. These are the signs that were at the other place. See, once they print them up, they could put more up here. Tobacco free. But it doesn't say anything here anywhere. Hour 77. About photography, so it just doesn't. I'm going to go around this way. Thank you. See, he's in here during school hours, and he's going to be here for a while. The kids are in school, so whether he comes over here during school hours or not, they're there. They could have been out here an hour ago, or two hours ago, and got that done and left and finished. But they're there with their straw hat, these innocent, you know, so, so innocent. But what's happening with the kids <laughs> is not so innocent. And if there's 300 of them in Lompoc that aren't being prosecuted or anything being done to them, and they've already been, they've already been uh, charged and found guilty of crimes against children, let's just say that. And not one of them has been moved. Nothing's been done to them. They haven't gone to jail like Betty Buttcrack. Just what the hell are you babbling about, lady? Nope. And Betty Buttcrack would never touch a child or even think in that manner for one second. I think it's disgusting and sick. And anybody that would go cross that line is needs mental help, in my opinion. So... I think they should seek immediate mental help if that even comes to their mind. You go to prison for life for that. My, um, a friend of mine's husband, she's not my friend anymore because I don't live anywhere near her and I believe that, um, you know, it's really strange that she stuck around for so long waiting for that guy. 25 years in prison. That's what you get, and that's what he got. And she went out there every weekend to see him and all of that. And it was a consensual thing, according to him and her. She didn't want him 
to go to jail, her parents did. She was 15, and you know, so when you were 15, could anybody tell you what to do, girl or boy? No. Now, why did they have all these guys out here in their trucks standing out here on the sidewalk? <laughs> this place it's quiet like that you pretty much figure it out right when everybody vanishes and runs to the phone Hello. hi good morning how are you I was just wondering if you have a card a card with whoever's names in charge here and the phone number and address Yes, ma'am. I'm on public property. So I'm allowed to video. I'm American. Are you? Yes, I am. All right. Well, you can do it, too. Then hallelujah, huh? We can all do it. Freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of religion, freedom to assemble, and freedom to redress our government. The First Amendment. Learn it. It's the First Amendment. Can I have your card too now that you? All right, can you write your name down on back? Sure. Because you are trying to be a little rude. I'm being rude. I'm just asking why I'm being video. Well, for one thing, because you're beautiful, and for two, because you work for the public. Okay. So it's legal, totally legal for anybody to come in here and talk to you. And, you know, I, I'm going around. Most auditors don't audit schools or the school board, but I do. Okay. Because I'm an advocate for children. And I think it's important. I think it's really strange that you guys have landscapers out there mowing the lawn and a guy standing out there with a weed eater. These men and the school is open. There's kids all over the place and they're out there with lawn mowers and weed eaters. You don't even know who those men are. They work for a landscaping company. You should be more worried about them than my camera. Okay. You hear them? You hear the weed eater? That has nothing to do with this. This is transportation. Okay, have, but uh, it's the school board. With, with landscaping, you should talk with somebody over at... Over at that building over there, that brown building? Yeah. Okay, all right, thank you. And your name was what? I'm Penny. Penny, nice to meet you, Penny. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I got to teach you about your First Amendment. What's up there? That is our dispatch office, and, and but there's nobody up there at the moment. Oh, I won't go up there. I invade anybody's privacy they might be having their coffee or something I basically just come out to check on government officials and make sure they're doing their jobs and handling the Constitution uh, that's what we all of our laws are written on and what is your name? the Bill of Rights Katie Kidman I'm sorry? Katie Kidman, Katie Kidman. Okay. yes ma'am you want to write it down I'll write it. just like Nicole but Katie okay. and I'm on YouTube okay. so you can see yourselves on there Penny and I'm giving you a thumbs up. Okay. And him too, because he was all quiet over there. The giant, the gentle giant. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. Have an awesome day. But this is the most, to me, this is the most important auditing right here. Our kids are the most important 
people on the planet. And for them to kick us all out of the school board, of the schools, and just them are allowed in there, just think about it. Just go look up how many people have been arrested for, how many teachers have been arrested for inappropriate behavior with children. Just tell me that. Privately maintained. So those guys are privately, a private company, and they're allowed on the school. Now he's over there with the leaf blower. Uh-oh, retard alert. Retard alert, class. Wait a second, you actually think privately maintained means a private company takes care of that property? No, you moron. The school takes care of that property. And those very men that you have been bad-mouthing this whole time that have been using those lawnmowers and weed eaters are those men who take care of the property. They have gone through all the checks. They're allowed to be there. I mean, you know, so this over here is the people that are in charge of the landscapers. And, you know, if they're allowed on the property over there, with their, they use those things to go anywhere and everywhere. No animals or pets on school board property. And yet you got two doggy bags here. The humans must be using them, I guess. And there's a board pole code, which I didn't even know existed. A board pool. Now we got another leaf blower over here. And these guys are allowed to be over here doing that. They have all these men and all these trucks and they're all allowed to be over here, but not grandma. <laughs> well grandma's coming over here. <laughs> Hello? Oh. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm Katie Kidman. I with the Kid Boat Craft News Network. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and I was wondering, you guys are in charge of landscaping, right? Yes. Can I grab a card? Yeah, absolutely. Let me get you. Yeah, this is our Jeff Baker. He's our supervisor for City and Ground. Okay. And. And you? My name is Lorena. Lorena, you have a card? I do, actually. You do? Okay. I going to say no. <laughs> I like your hair. It's kind of oh, like mine. <laughs> so do you have an issue with your... No, I don't have an issue. I was just wondering because I was over yeah. at the school board oh, and yeah. um, I got arrested over there really? and taken to jail for a couple of days for oh. doing this. Oh, I see. Yeah. And um, so on my way to the jail, uh -huh. I noticed that there were... Um, landscapers okay. mowing the lawn and like they're doing right over here yeah. during school hours. Okay. So I was trying to figure out what the rules and regulations are. I got this to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so that I know where I'm allowed to be and where I'm not allowed to be. I don't want to get arrested again. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So just to get an information. Yeah. To okay. And to figure out why they are, have authority to be on around the kids. And a grandma like me cannot without getting arrested. Mm. You know, if anybody should be allowed, it should be us grandmas, right? <laughs> and, <laughs> Morning. And, of course, and you know what? Any, any, I think that you should maybe, if you have any questions, maybe have a chat with our with our director. Oh, okay. Um, maybe send him an email or. All right. Yeah. So yeah, I will. Cause, you have any, yeah. All right. Like those, like, yeah, I'd like to know. I'm gonna. I'm. I have to go to court on. Uh, I think October 11th, I think it is, oh, okay. for that. Mm -hmm. But they'll probably drop it by then because, yeah, hopefully. you know, it's there's no charge. There's, yeah. I mean, there's a charge for trespassing, but in order to trespass somebody, you have to be on the property and be asked to leave and trespass and then go back. Sorry, Granny, but I suggest you look up the California Penal Code, Part 1 of Crimes and Punishment, 
Title 14, Mischief, uh, mischief uh, 594 through 625, and uh, paragraph Q, and you will find it there. I will even provide you a link in the description should you want one. And at that point, yes, they can apprehend you and arrest you. But if it's your first time there and you're asking questions and you're in the office, I was in the principal's office, in the public Your office. School. Well, looking around, I have I have three grandkids, so I'm mm -hmm. like to look. I haven't been around the schools in quite a while, so. And most people are afraid to audit schools, most of the auditors, because they don't want to film kids or whatever. Yeah, because most of those felons have codes of honor that forbid going after children. Even if they end up in prison where there's a lot of their own class, if they've done anything with children whatsoever, they won't last that long. And I just got done talking to like 20 kids over there at McDonald's. And they're like, we know you. You're Betty Buttcrack. And I said, yeah, because of my hat. And then uh, they were like, oh, thank you for coming to our school. Finally, somebody cares about us to come over and check us out. And I said, yeah, I'll be around. Thank you, you know. Make sure to spread the word because I told them that the First Amendment protects mm -hmm. these freedoms. Freedom of press, freedom of speech, religion, you know, the five to assemble and all that. What is your name? They were all happy. Uh, my YouTube channel is Katie Kidman. Katie. But I'm, I work for Butt Crack News Network. <laughs> and they call me... I think you did see that. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't catch that quick enough. Yeah. <laughs> and they call me Betty Butt Crack, so... I was... But yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They know when Betty Butt Crack's coming. And yeah, my brother Billy Butt Crack's in Ohio. <laughs> and he hired me about a year ago. Yes. And I've been doing this for about a year. Yeah, so I'm really Betty. It's it's not, you know, there, I have two different people inside my body. <laughs> Thank you. Nice meeting you too. Thank you. You too. God bless you all. Thanks for letting me practice my First Amendment. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
a different street to, to go get me the a little handbook on the rules and regulations of the school board in Santa Barbara County so I would be aware of where I'm allowed to be and not, what's public, what's not, you know, and all that. And so I was standing there waiting for her, and I got the feeling they called the police. So I said, did you call the police on me? And, she, and they wouldn't answer. And I said, I have a feeling, but I'm waiting for you to walk me over there. You said you were going to walk me over to get the, the rules and regulations. And I would just leave, but if you call the police, I have to wait because I can't run. And um, they were like, well, they'll take care of you. And I said, well, I thought you were go going to. I thought you were going to, innocent like a child, me, you know, like I didn't expect her to do what she did. And the next thing I know, I turn around and the cops are standing there. And I'm like, you lied to me. She lied to me about not calling the cops by omission. And she lied to me about telling me she was going to get me that booklet, which she never had any intention of doing. She was waiting to see me get arrested. And now she's going to get sued. Yeah, she, she won't be working there long. That's a big lawsuit. You can't arrest people and press fake charges on them and tell the police that she asked me to leave when I have it on video. And she never asked me to leave. Okay. Not once. She asked me to stop filming, but she never asked me to leave. So yeah, that's why I'm doing this. I, I'm gonna be auditing the schools because everybody's afraid to audit them. Okay. But we need to be checking on our kids, right? Who's around our kids and what y'all are doing with our kids when none of us are allowed here. Well, I got you know what I'm saying? Go yeah, I got an appointment to go to, so... Um, all right. All right. Nice Thank meeting you. you. Can I see your badge? Get a picture of it so I know who I'm talking to. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. So, there you have it. I'm surprised that the police aren't out here are ready yet since they're all looking around and wondering this guy but that's that place there's the school right there and that's what puzzles me why all the kids are right up there at the school and these landscapers get to let linger around in everybody's yards around everybody's stuff any time of the day or night, practically. I mean, the minute the noise pollution thing is gone and they're allowed to start mowing and blowing at seven o'clock, they do it. And if they can do it sooner, they do it sooner. And so, you know, you got a lot of lawn out here. You got those maintenance men over there. And some of those maintenance men are strange. That one wasn't, but some of them are and you got these guys you got a lot of men around here you know with carte blanche on the property they can walk around and mingle intermingle with your kids and take their weed eater and their lawnmower up to the school which is right up there which i will be auditing here shortly and that's why they don't want anybody over here auditing. So wake up and smell the coffee. They don't want you auditing the schools and the, the kids and what goes on around here. And that's exactly why we need to, all right? So all you trolls out there that have kids, you should appreciate me. And if you don't, you should get a job working for law enforcement or the <coughs> two most corrupted agencies in the United States of America. Go work for them and you can tell your lies and try to act like you know somebody that you don't know. You can't even come up with my name. You don't even know where I'm from, where I lived. You don't know anything about me, but you want to sit there and talk about me. It's quite funny. But keep going ahead. Talk all you want. You're just one more, one more subscriber on my channel and I love all my subscribers and so anyways somebody told me to see there's no water in here a few of the other auditors that I've spoken to and they are all my friends by the way <laughs> since you think they don't communicate with me or anything 
They do. I talk to them on the phone. Okay. Not in a text message or anything. Live. Person to person. We're friends. Okay. So for you to sit there and go, none of the auditors like her. Can you see how they don't? You must not look very far. They leave comments. They communicate with me all the time. And they absolutely adore Betty Buttcrack. So you're wrong. And we have a winner with a score of 80 beating out the previous score of 44. Ladies and gentlemen, she did it. She dethroned Ass Elmo. With that, she wins the crown and the title of Moronic Barometer of the Week. Does the winner have anything they wish to say?